Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we are asked to prove this identity. Tan theta plus cot theta is identical to 2 cosec 2 theta. So like any identities, when you have to prove them, you've got to decide which side you're going to start with. And it doesn't really matter, but you would normally start with what you would think is the easiest side. And I think it's the left hand side. We've got two terms on the left hand side and I'm heading towards one term on the right hand side. Normally easier to reduce terms, I feel, down to fewer terms. So that's what I'm going to start with, and that is the left hand side. So I'll put that down as proof, and I'd copy the left hand side down. Or you could write LHS for short. Okay, so I need to think about where this is going. And I get a few clues from the right hand side here. Let me just jot down what I think the clues are. Cosec of 2 theta. What's that identical to? Well, it's identical to 1 over sine 2 theta. All right. Cosec of any function is 1 over the sine of that function. So it's 2 theta in this case. Now, what is sine 2 theta? You should be familiar with that. It's identical to 2 sine theta cosine theta. So this is now starting to give me an idea where this is going to be going. I need to convert this into sines and cosines. I know that cot theta is 1 over tan theta, but I don't really want to keep this in terms of tan theta. I need a mix of sine theta and cosine theta. So let's just put this down here, that this is identical then to well, for tan theta, that's sine theta divided by the cosine of theta. And then we've got plus cot theta, which is, yeah, 1 over tan theta, but that's the same as cosine theta over sine theta. So you can see I'm getting this mixture now of sines and cosines as we want to head towards over here. Right, I've got two terms now and I need to reduce it to one term. So that gives me another clue and that is to put this all over one lowest common multiple of the denominator here. And that lowest common multiple is going to be cosine theta, sine theta. And so if I take this first fraction, I can see that I multiply the denominator here by sine theta, so I must do the same to the top. So sine theta times another sine theta is sine squared theta. For this fraction here, I multiply the denominator sine theta by cosine theta. So I need to multiply the top of the fraction by cosine theta. So cosine theta times another cosine theta is cos squared theta. Now I should be able to recognize the top here of the fraction. It's a well-known identity. Sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the same angle is always 1. So I've got 1 then over cosine theta, sine theta. And look how this is shaping up to this. The thing is, I haven't got a 2 in the denominator here. But if I multiply top and bottom by 2, it's going to be still the same fraction. Okay, have the same value. 2 over 2 is 1, so I'm not changing the value of it. But what I end up with now is 2 on the top, okay, over 2 cos theta sine theta. And 2 cos theta sine theta is the same as sine 2 theta. So I've got 2 over sine 2 theta. And as we've seen, 1 over sine 2 theta is cosec 2 theta. So this is identical to 2 cosec of 2 theta. All right. So hope you've been able to get that. And thanks for watching.